and we're back in the nightmare cabin. How are we doing, YouTube? Hello, stranger, to uh, the new subscribers and new watchers, and welcome back to all of you that have been here before. Uh, thank you to Jesse from Assimilation the other night for the uh, tips and pointers. I've finally sorted out the lighting, so um, a few simple pointers and a few tricks that he taught me. And yeah, I haven't got this dark half anymore, so it would be sort of glaring in one side and pitch black in the other in the past couple of videos. So, that's sorted now. So today, we have got an unboxing and a review. Follow up from the previous video on Benediction. If, uh, again, if you're new to the channel, go back and watch that. I'll go through the entire Benediction catalogue, all in preparation for today. So, let's have a look. <laughs> oh, it's, uh, it's all wrapped in plastic, one sec. It's all right, a bit like Blue Peter. I've got a uh, pen knife here. So, anyway, I've been anticipating this album ages. I mean, I interviewed Dave Hunt when he did a new Anal Nafrak album a couple of years ago. And even then, last question I asked him was, what's going on with Benediction? Like, are you are gonna be doing a new album? And he sort of said, yeah, you know, like it's, there's always stuff working on and the intention's there, it's just getting around to it. And um, he was saying that uh, Darren and Pete both had like stuff on their plate, kids, family, work, etc. But he said it was definitely in the pipeline at some point, but then he obviously left and made way for Dave Ingram to come back. So, here it is. This is the uh, limited edition, and it was exclusive to Nuclear Blast. Um, oh, yeah, this came with a bonus CD. I don't even... Ooh. Original demo version. I wonder... Will I have Dave on vocals? I don't know. This, uh, comes with a patch. That's pretty cool. Classic logo. Uh, here we go. Bosh. You're, you're seeing it before me. I'm doing it opposite. Ooh. And yeah, obviously, I've, yeah, I've been looking forward to a good, you know, a new Benediction album for ages. And um, just to have Dave back in the band, it's just that extra bonus, you know. Dave, Dave Hunt was a great front man for the time he was in the band, but it just feels right, you know, the band being back. So, I'm just going for the, uh, that's not very good, is it? Yeah. So, on this album, not only does Dave return on vocals, but we've got two new members. We've got um, Dan Bate on bass, formerly of um, Blaze Bailey's solo band. I've actually seen him um, with Blaze Bailey, quite a funny story actually. Um, he's got obviously really long, flowing curly hair, and he's head banging about, and he sort of swings his hair back <laughs> and he's a lot of his hair fuck knows how stuck to the ceiling and he was you know playing head banging about with his <laughs> bit of hair stuck to the ceiling he never noticed either but i did see sort of bringing it come back and i thought fuck that must have hurt so yeah funny story and a new um drummer as well giovanni durst um formerly of uh, monument and white wizard but Mind you, I think everyone's been White Wizard at some point in their career. So, and um, produced, no, this is most notably, there's something I forgot to point out actually. Sorry. Oh, quick slurp. This album's produced by Scott Atkins, guitarist of Stamping Grounds. One of the best fucking albums to ever come from this wonderful land. One of the best bands ever as well, one of my favourites growing up. But, there's another benediction connection to Stamping Ground, is um, Neil Hutton, who drummed on three or four benediction albums. 
I think he joined for Dreams You Dread, Dig Grind Bastard, which is playing in the background, and um, the two albums with Dave Hunt, uh, Organised Chaos and Killing Music. And he also drummed for Stamping Grounds on this album, The uh, New Darkness Is Upon Us. So two connections to think I didn't point that out in my previous video. So right, let's get into it. Um, what is this album like? Um, it's fucking awesome, basically. It's everything you want from a Benediction album, and I really appreciate it as well when I went through all the old albums. To, excuse me, the um, because I've got. It was nice. It was a nice recap to go through them all and just visit all the sort of different elements of the sound. And every album is a benediction album, but it's just every album's slightly different, and they evolve from album to album. And I think we covered that. And it just feels here everything has just come together. Um, one thing notably, I think this album overall is a bit more melodic. There's always a melody in the riff. And even with the sort of chugga 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 or shredding, you know, there'll be like a nice melody going over the top of it, like a fucking like gravy on the top of slap of the meat, you know. It just it's just that extra seasoning. It's the it's the butter on the toast, you know. And um, that's something I've kind of felt they lacked a little bit. Like put, uh, I've, one thing I pointed out was M Magnificat. When that melodic section kicks in, you know, it was just like, that's brilliant. And I just wish they did it a bit more. Well, they must have listened to me because they do it shitloads on this album. So, um, kicking off with um, Iterations of I, I think that's it. Um, how you pronounce it anyway? Just, you know, just rings, rings, rings out. Awesome opening, and then everything just kicks in wonderfully. And um, it's got like a nice dark melodic riff going into it, nice sort of shredding, you know, uh, nice melodic solo in there as well. Awesome, sort of, your flesh is weak. And mentally it's looking bleak. There's a um, little nod to um, I. So the, Dave Ingram put out a uh, post the other day, basically saying the last track of Grime Bastard is I, and this is iterations of I, and there's actually a little nod to it in the lyrics. There's a little lyric repeated, or, you know, that are similar, which is a nice little nod to it. Well, I've spotted a couple of other Easter eggs as well which I'm going to point out as we go along and see if I get some extra points from the uh, distinguished gentleman for pointing it out. So, um, yeah, Scriptures and Scarlet's got like a... Um, that's got... That's the sort of hardcore punk influence. It's quite a punky song. It's got like a... It's basically typical Benediction. I think Iterations of I opens the song, opens the album nicely, but it's got... Um, it kind of sets itself apart. It's quite a different song for Benediction, really, and certainly one that they would open with. But when Scriptures of Scarlet kicks in, that's a real sort of typical Benediction song. It's really, um, it's got like a sort of perfect mix of sort of punk and hardcore, but with death metal sort of ripping. But it's got this real like sort of D beat sort of discharge, sort of punky drum beat underneath it. And um, when it sort of around one, two minute mark, there's like this real sort of nice, you know, sort of real chunky sort of ripping. And you just picture a mosh pit during this song, just the crowd just fucking moving around, pogoing, jumping, pushing each other, and all that good fun stuff. It's probably going to be made illegal now. You can have social distance moshing, that'd be a new thing um crooked man love the riff you know fucking awesome 
nice little bridge. Um, when I mentioned the melodic parts earlier, uh, there's a nice little section towards the end where it's like a, it goes into a sort of melodic part, but it has a, like a, it just, it kind of just opens up. So it's like, dun, 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 bum, 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 bum. and then it just goes, Pete or Darren or both just sort of go do this beautiful, it's fucking, it just brings a really nice atmosphere to it. It's just really nice and dark and atmospheric, and the Crooked Man, the lyrics are really cool as well. And it's definitely one of my favourites. Definitely one of my favourites on the album. Storm Crow, fantastic. Yeah, it's just headbang fest, and it's just a real straight forward song. Um, you've all seen the video, Dave looking cool as fuck in the, singing the song from the, um, from the, uh, from the couch with a bottle of wine and that, the old mate is right. Is that Alistair Crowley who said mate is right or Ant on the Vey? I know Ant on the used it, but did he make that up himself or was that Alistair? I can't remember which one, but yeah. Um, progenitors of the, uh, new parrot. Paradium. Another good song. This one is where things really change. So you've got like a nice, you've got a good pacing so far. So you've got sort of mid paced, nice punky one, another mid paced sort of groovy one. That's, and then you've got a nice straight ahead death metal headbang of a storm crow. Now this one is when things change. It goes, it kind of opens up with a mid groove, but it rolls along nicely. And it kind of has like this freshy rhythm to it. And um, the song goes through like different sort of stages and sections, really. And um, yeah, when the riff changes pace as well, it's, it just sounds so fucking evil and cool. And um, again, there's an ah, oh, that's the one thing. When it kind of breaks down, it goes digga 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 boom, digga 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 ba ba ba. And Gio, sorry, what's his name? Giovanni? Is it? No. Yeah, Giovanni. His drums under that. Digga, 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 bam, digga, 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 Fucking the drum feel under the riff in the mid section of that is um, just fucking phenomenal. It's just so simple, but it's just really effective. Really good drum. He's, he shines on this album actually. Giovanni is a really good asset to this band. He really fits in nicely. And there's a little nod to um, Down Among the Dead Man, Dead Men, Dave Ingram's one of Dave Ingram's projects. While um, he wasn't in uh, Benediction, where he says um, something annihilate, destroy, so, something anno eradicate, annihilate, destroy, something like that, which is a title of an album by Down Among the Dead Men, and that's also a nod to Doctor Who. So Easter egg I spotted there, and there's another one coming up. And it's probably fucking knowing Dave, he probably littered them. He's probably got loads of little nods and winks here for people to notice and things. He's kind of like that. He's cool like that. So, um, Rabid Carnality. Rabid Carnality, yeah. Um, bit of an oldie, actually, I suppose. Um, they played that live a couple of times when Dave Hunt was in the band. Um, it was obviously the first video. It was like a live video, which came out. So it's wetting me whistle. And, um, again, straightforward it's just a shred fest um, nice punky drum beat again and we're actually treated to a solo there's um that's not something benediction really rely on but when they pull one out of the bag it's for good reason and the, the solos on it it's just awesome very sort of unleash the turkeys very uh, sort of Kerry King sort of all over the fretball but nice and precise and it's just nice finishing touch um, in our hands the scars another sort of slow well no it kind of starts off with like a punk like a it's, it starts off with bass and drums doom, 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 doom. so it kind of has that another sort of punk feel to it when the riff kicks in as well it's fucking it's really nice and then it sort of goes into like a nice groovy riff as well and there's another nod to down among the dead man when he says um, when leeches gorge and something about a dead star, a black, a, a dead dying star. 
which is a nod to uh, Down Among the Dead's song as Leech's Gorge. You only consume. And um, we'll get to them later though. Then there's Tear Off These Wings, which is kind of like, I don't want to say it, but kind of like, not a, I'll say it, ballad. It's not a ballad, of course it's not a ballad. But it, it's the slower song on the album, and it's got, this sounds like a real emotional song. Like Dave really gives it on this song, and it's a real, it seems like a real dark setting to the uh, lyrics. And um, yeah, it starts off sort of slower, a more doomy riff, you know? More kind of, really like old school sounding, like as in old school death metal, when obviously one thing Benediction do, because they were one of the first at it, they were part of the original sort of death metal scene. It wasn't all about speed and technicality to begin with, it was more, a feeling. It was more of a. You knew what death metal was when you heard it, but nowadays it's like a, a style and a technique. At the beginning, it was more of a feeling. So you might have someone like Napalm Death or Carcass or Morbid Angel, where things were obviously fast, but then you would have like the stuff going on in Sweden that was slow, or a banner autopsy maybe, for example. But obviously they was they was death metal. The, the speed and technicality didn't even come into it. I think I'm making sense. Um, but yeah, that, that, that's what that song reminds me of. It, it, it's a, it reminds me of those old days where you just, it was more, well, it still is, it's a thing with Benediction. It's about the song, you know, rather than anything else. But yeah, it's got this really nice sort of Sabbathy riff. Um, and then when it obviously it kicks in, like it goes quiet when Dave just goes, tear off these fucking wings. And then it kicks in again, but when it kicks in, it's fucking awesome. And then um, it sort of breaks down again, it just sort of rings out. Really nice, really cool. Then um, Embrace the Kill is a uh, another favorite of mine. Focus. Yep, right. And um, yeah, nice riffing, nice, it's got like a um, nice sort of chunky riff, but again, Beautiful melody over the top, da -na -na -na, da -na -na -na. and um, that melody, especially at the end as well. What is the matter with this? Focus, yeah. Hold on, it's distracting me now. Come on, focus, you fuck. I'll hold that up again. I can always see because that says tattoos removed, and if I can't read it, I know it's not focusing. It's distracting me. Anyway, I'll keep talking. Where were we? Yeah, Embrace the Kill. Sort of a little sort of morbid melancholy feel to the, to the um, music, which is really nice. It's got that sort of British sort of dreariness that only British... There's one thing as well, the British bands, they capture that, you know, in autumn when it's always grey and drizzly. And, you know, we have the four seasons and our min winters can be quite miserable. And yeah, it, it captures that grey sort of, yeah, the dreariness, British dreariness, really. And um, I feel that with um, Embrace the Kill, that sort of urban sort of paranoia, I suppose. The glass, the concrete, the misery. But, yeah, anyway. Um, Never When. Is that the next one? Yeah, Never When. Um, is a uh, nice, I love it, melodic riff over to, like this chugging. Again, another sort of chuggy riff with a nice melody over the top. Another really good one, really. Nice melodic solo. It just carries on, really. It's, um, yeah, it just carries on the way things are, really. Time's set. Um, the blight at the end, again, nice. Nice, uh, cold riffing with a nice punk beat, and then we come to We Are Legion. Nice, awesome closer. Nice big opening, and uh, leading into um, basically like a groove, nice mid pace thing. Awesome fucking head banging juicing, and then it kind of, it kind of goes through like a heavy sort of. It goes through the song really, nice heavy riffing, nice sort of mid paced. 
but then goes back to how the song starts and um, it gives you like a real and it finishes sort of rings out with Dave doing like this little spoken word bit which is just it just it just finishes it off nicely just works up to a really good climax for the album and uh, it's got to be said as well Dave has never sounded better his voice has got better with age and it, it just sounds rougher but with a bit more clarity and a bit more he, he, he's just aged like a fine wine really it, it's, and um, he's, yeah he sounds great on this and um, it's great to see him back it really is so yeah that's the um, that's all the songs really and uh, just in sort of conclusion really it does what it says on the tin it's what you wanted from a benediction album and um, every song is you know some songs better than others but uh, there's no like filler there's just good album tracks good solid album tracks I think the songs are perfectly paced out it, the album just flows brilliantly every every song's got a, a good riff that sticks in your mind I've been you know finding myself humming along to like a melody or a solo or a riff or a you know and um, Dave's riffs uh, Dave's riffs his vocals are awesome his vocal parts are all you know in place every song every song's got a hook every song is catchy and no song outstays its welcome everything's perfectly paced sorry one sec And um, yeah, I, th these are one of my favourite bands, and I do. I just, I simply love this band for what they are, and um, it's just they do what they do. They're benediction. They sound like no one else, and no one sounds like them. You know, simple as that. And uh, that's it, really. It's me with you. Um, yeah. I mean, is this album of the year? Maybe. What about? This is, this has got to be said, this is the fucking, this is the Christmas present I didn't think I was going to get, and didn't, so didn't bother asking for, it was, it was the, you know, some fucking ultra rare album first pressing that's signed by a, a dead member or something like that, it was the, uh, the Ferrari, it's the, no, no point even asking for it, no, you know, it, it's never going to happen. And I remember one of the first time, in fact, the first time I interviewed Dave Ingram, I sort of asked, "What's the chances of getting back with Benediction?" And he just said, "Not going to happen. No, it's no need. They've got a pretty, they've got a more than competent singer. Um, I'm, he's doing his own thing, and it, yeah, no need for it." So when Dave Hunt left, it was just obviously it made sense to them, and. I'm, yeah, it wasn't gonna happen, but I'm so glad it has happened. And I wasn't expecting it to happen. I accepted it wasn't going to. And the fact that it did is just, I'm chuffed to bits. And it's, yeah, I never thought I would hear this album. And I'm so glad it's happened. And nothing, no disrespect to Dave Hunt. Dave Hunt's fucking awesome. But um, Dave Ingram. He belongs in Benediction. Benediction needs Dave. And Dave Hunt, he belongs with Anal Nafrak. That's his band. That's his baby. That's where he belongs. And, you know, he, he did two great albums. He's, he's he's held the position well throughout the years. But it just feels... It's, it's Dickinson being back in Maiden. It's just right, you know. And um, I think everyone agrees with that. I don't think anyone will be too upset with that. But, um... Yeah, I never thought this would happen, but it, it did, and I'm glad it has. And, you know, Scriptures is a fucking phenomenal album. So, well done, guys. Fucking good luck to you, all of you. And, um, yeah, that's it, really. I'm going to have a drink now. Oh, one thing as well. For people that, um, I think a lot of people are jumping on board with Benediction with this album. It's got a good bit of press. And um, I just thought I'd tell you when Dave wasn't in Benediction, a couple of his other bands, um, he's, he did his Metal Breakfast Radio podcast, which is awesome. Uh, Metal Breakfast Radio, look that up. But he did a number of great bands as well. 
So uh, yeah, don't call this a comeback. He's been here for years. But yeah, Down Among the Dead Men, Echelon, a project with Johnny Pat Peterson, Patterson, the singer of Wormbath and a bunch of other projects. Henry Kane, I can't remember. Fuck, it's cold. I can never pronounce it anyway. But they did a song, an album called D Down with the Leviathan or something. But that's a really good album. Um, obviously, he was doing Just Before Dawn. He was in Howl of Bullets for about 10 minutes. Um, there's another project as well that I'm thinking of. Oh, obviously, he did Bolt Thrower. But um, most notably, I would say... Bear with me. I'm sick. It's all good, but most notably, I would recommend check out Down Among the Dead Men. This is their uh, first album. Best place. They did three albums in total. All three are good, but this is the best place to start, I think. Um, think Discharge. Think um, See Nothing, Hear Nothing, Say Nothing, or whatever it is. Take a dis that classic Discharge album and think of the songs being covered by a death metal band. Death metal band covering Discharge. That's. It's fucking oh, gnarly as hell. Fantastic with uh, Roger jo and Roger uh, Johansson from uh, Paganizer, and same guy as well. Um, he did another project with the same guy, Echelon, and most notably from them, two awesome albums. But this is the one you want. The second album, Brimstone. What is it? The Brimstone. Aggrandisement. Aggrandisement. Uh, the first album's really good, but this one, they really come into their own. Very different as well, very dark, very cold. Kind of bluesy solos as well on this one, but yeah, fantastic album. So yeah, check them out as well. And um, another package turned up today, might as well open this while I'm on the camera. It's, uh... Oh yeah, I <laughs> forgot about this. Um, Gamora, old school sort of death metal, fresh metal from the UK. This is a uh, reissue, if I can get it open, on Vic Records. Good label. They do they do like a series of really good reissues. They do the odd new album as well, but uh, I find their reissues are really um, well thought out and put together. Let's have a quick look through this while we're on. Nice little bonus. So, picture of the band. It looks like you get. A bunch of photos and a couple of liner notes and all that good stuff. Yeah, a bit of a gem this one. Bit of a hidden, hidden one. Yeah, well worth checking out. Gamora. So, um, anyway, coming up. Hopefully I'm going to get Dave on the show. I'm going to do an interview with him, a bit like what I did with David Gregor and uh, Jesse. Uh, Frank Rini is going to be coming up as well soon. And I'm going to be doing a, uh, you know when I did the videos of Death and Nile and Benediction where I go, let's talk about those videos. Um, I've got uh, Trey from Total Metal Rejection coming on and we're going to be doing uh, the whole catalogue of Deeds of Flesh in anticipation for the new album coming out so that's all coming up as well obviously Friday Maiden Cast is up we're doing Somewhere in Time so yeah uh, thanks for watching this if you got to the end um, yeah definitely check out the new Benediction it's well worth your time fantastic stuff uh, check out Dave's other bands uh, if you're new to the channel please go check out some older videos um, finding me feet this is a new channel but yeah and thank you if you've been here all along you've watched a few other channel a uh, few other videos as well um, if you could just like and subscribe and share that really helps me out I'm still building here but yeah speak to you later everyone see you all soon